but she lives on from the Chippewan down to the big lake they call Gitchiku The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald way empty. Good ship and crew were a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some hill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with the crew and good captain well seasoned. Including some terms with a couple steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. And later that night, when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind in the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the railing. As the captain did too, twas the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. Supper time came, the old cook came on deck, saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya. At 7 p.m. the main hatchway came in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. Later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searches all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they put fifteen more miles behind her. Might have split up, or they might have capsized. They might have broke deep and took water. And all that remains are the faces and names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake current rolls and superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go as all mariners know with the gales of November and Hall in Detroit, they all prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed at Frank twenty nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down to the big lake they call Gitchikoopi. The lake, it is said, never gives up.